Okay, uh, all this right here below, going all the way up there is the side of the uh, Empire Coal Company. And uh, <clears throat> this is where the Empire Mines were. Way back up over here, they had multiple coal drift mines. And right back up over here is where the uh, loading tipple and the coal washer was. And right down in here, it's all gone. That would have been the battery of coke ovens. Uh, the mine was started in uh, 1900 by the Empire Coal Company. And I think somewhere around 1924, 25, the Bartolaben Coal Company bought, uh, bought the Empire Coal Company. And so it became uh, operated by the Bartolaben Coal Company. And this mine stayed in operation. I think the underground coal mining, I think it went out in the early 50s, um, maybe the early 60s, but they were doing strip mining in conjunction with some of the underground coal mining. So they kept this operating, whew, I think it was all the way up in the early 80s. I'd have just checked the records. But uh, this was a big operation and this was serviced by the First, it was serviced by the Kansas City, Memphis, and Birmingham Railroad. And then later, uh, it was absorbed or into the St. Louis and San Francisco Railroad. And this branch line came all the way from Summerton, Dora Junction, and it actually <clears throat> started in Dora, uh, what was then called Horse Creek. And it ran about to, I think it was about seven, eight miles. Uh, up here to this mine. So they built the branch line just for this mine. When it was open, it was called the Empire Branch. And then uh, some years later, 1912, 1913, the Empire Branch, they, they put a Y down there and it was extended all the way to the river, uh, the, uh, the Mulberry Fork River and across to the new Sipsi Mines. But uh, not much is uh, not much is left. I mean, I think zero was left of the Empire Mines. But this was right up there. That was the site of the uh, that was the site of the big coal washer, coal tipple. They had multiple signings for the rail lines, and the coke ovens were right here. And if I think they had a minimum of 100 coke ovens, could have been expanded to some more, but. Anyway, a lot of history up here, and the mining camp of Empire was back up this way. But all up in these hollows connected by rail tram lines was uh, were the Empire mines. So very historic, uh, very historic mine up here in Walker County, and uh, and for the rail line uh, Frisco that uh, serviced it. So. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, stop here. It's already starting to get overgrown. I uh, would go down there, but there, there's nothing left down there. So, but anyway, I just thought I'd stop and uh, take a look at this. Well, as I was leaving, I saw something uh, through the woods. Didn't know what it was. Had to come around to a different area. And I'm pretty shocked. Uh, I believe that is, I'm not sure what that is. It almost looks like a rail car or something. Or something. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna drop down there and just check and see what it is. I mean, it's, really strange but you can see how cleverly concealed it is with the tree. There's actually a tree that has grown up right through it. So I'm not sure what this is, but I'll, I'll just take a quick look down there. Okay, well, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but you know, definitely related to the Empire Gold Mine.
Well, it's actually a tree growing up in this. That's how long it's been sitting here. <sighs> so I actually spied this through the woods and did not know what it was. Yeah. Man, these are rail cars. Yeah. Open top hopper. These are coal cars out of here. Wow. Well, you can see they're permanently mounted, but uh, yeah, they, these are coal cars. And they modified them for something. But uh, anyway, now that's, I tell you, there's some things you see in the woods and there's some other times when something like this kind of blows you away. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll just walk down there, see what this looks like. But yeah, pretty, pretty amazing. So, all right, well, I'm glad I saw that through the trees. So, that's incredible. There's a tree growing out of this coal car hopper right there. Open top hopper. I don't know how old these uh, coal cars are. You can see the coal. Got a cable right here coming out. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta say, this is one of the more unusual finds at a coal mine site. Wow. Okay. All right, we'll take a look around for a few more minutes. Okay, I uh, came around to the back side here. Just, uh, happen to see this right here like I said I'm not sure they had the, what they had these coal cars for but definitely for a purpose but uh, I was thinking the uh, coke ovens were gone but uh, what do you know here they are right here These are the uh, Empire, Empire Coke ovens right here. Wow. I mean, you can't, you can't even see it's starting to get thick with the overgrowth. But uh, yeah, this is it. This is the Empire Coke ovens stretch. I'm not sure how far they stretch down there, but I, I had a minimum, I think a battery of 100. But uh, that, that is pretty as to work. <clears throat> so all right i guess it paid to come down in the woods after all so all right <clears throat> okay so uh this is on top of the uh coke ovens here or what was left of them you got the stone wall right there the battery coke ovens went straight down here so the coal cars were lined up on this side and on the uh, I believe they had another side over here but anyway this is the remains of the battery of coke ovens and 
here's uh, your coal car hoppers right here. Just uh, absolutely amazing. So, anyway, I've been here a long time, man. A long time. So, dang, just come out here and stand on top of the the uh, coal cars. Yeah, so you're on top of the coal car, coal hopper car. Right here, and there's a tree right there. Well, all right. See some unusual things in the woods, but this, this may top it all. So, all right, well, like I said, glad I decided to come down to the woods after all. <laughs>